Today we're going to be working with mixed medium and that basically means using multiple materials, mixed materials. Medium is just another word for materials in art. So here I am just laying down some paint on my paper. I find it's a lot easier to start a project if I don't just have this big blank sheet of paper looking at me. Uh, also, you always want to make sure you can keep yourself clean while painting. So I covered my desk with a newspaper that I forgot to put down initially. So I'm covering the entire piece of paper or canvas with paint and I'm putting down whatever colors I feel like using. I'm using a limited color palette, meaning I am only using a couple colors. So I'm using red, blue, and white. And I really like seeing brush strokes and it being nice and streaky. So I'm kind of putting in blocky shapes, you can see. And I'm blending a little and I'm putting in like some zigzags and blurry areas. And then when I'm happy with it, I can let it dry for a little bit. So with mixed media, what you do is you combine multiple elements into your artwork. So with this, I'm going to be adding a photocopy. I'm also going to be scratching into the surface, as you see here, and that's called graffito. Uh, it's the origin of the word graffiti. So I'm scratching paint off the surface, kind of like scratchboard. And I'm cleaning off the back of my brush because that's what I use to scratch with. But you can use a pencil, you can use your fingers, your fingernails. So here's my photocopy I'm using. It is an octopus and I thought it would go really great with the kind of blues I have going on. I wanted to kind of do something sort of underwater feeling. So now I have to figure out where I'm gonna be placing my octopus. So do I want them up in the middle or more towards the bottom? And also with mixed media, you can collage a lot of different things. So I have some tissue paper, I have some little pieces of like white paper, and I am wrinkling up the tissue paper so that when I paste it down, glue it or paint over it, it leaves kind of a rough texture. So I'm just kind of giving myself the idea of where I wanna put things. You can use a glue stick to glue things down, or you can even use um, what are called mediums. And it's a different word for medium, and it's also having to do with art supplies, but basically they're add-ins to acrylic paint that change the texture of the paint. And you can kind of use them like glue. So if you've ever painted with like Elmer's glue or Mod Podge, it's kind of the same thing. So first I used a glue stick, and this is the gloss medium. So with the gloss medium, it comes out white to start, but then it, as it dries, it becomes transparent. So I'm getting a little bit on my brush. I can also water it down with a tiny bit of water, but again, it goes on white and then it dries clear. Gloss medium will make everything very shiny and glossy. Matte medium will make everything dull and not shiny. And then there's a couple different other mediums that you can use to add more texture, but I like to use it kind of like a glue so, so I can kind of paste things down and trap colors. When you feel like you're happy with something, that's when I usually use the matte medium. So here I am adding some glazes of color on top of my photocopy and I'm mixing it with the wet medium so that they're very faint. They're not very dark. So I'm going to be adding a lot of different things on this today. I can use colored pencils, I can use charcoal, oil pastels, um, Sharpie markers, um, crayons, anything you can think of I can add. You do the wet stuff first, let it dry, and then you can layer on dry stuff. So dry media or dry materials, so pencils, colored pencils, markers, uh, pastels, and so on. Here I am cleaning off my brush and now I'm pasting down my tissue paper with my gloss medium and I wrinkled it all up in advance to get a little bit more texture on the surface so that the wrinkles in the photocopy aren't the only wrinkles on my surface. If it's the only thing it tends to draw attention to it on the artwork so I want some other wrinkly torn sections. 
beautiful thing with mixed media and with paint in general is if you don't like something, you can just paint over it when it's dry. So if I make a mistake, I can just go right back over it with something else. Don't like something, tear off a piece of magazine and glue it on top and then paint on top of that. So as I'm working on this, the paper is actually becoming a little bit sturdier because the gloss medium is sealing uh, the paint to the surface of the paper. So it's a little more like cardboard than it is just um, like cardstock or tough paper or like tag board. So I'm taking some of my supplies and you can even use ballpoint pens. And now that the surface is dry, I'm gonna go in with my dry materials. I'm adding some Sharpie marker here and there. And to go with my water theme, I'm drawing like raindrops, little almond shapes. And I'm just putting them wherever I really feel that there needs to be something on the paper. And here I am with a white oil pastel. And I'm adding some linear elements. So I'm just adding some lines, some zigzag lines. And if I decide later on that I don't like this, I can just paint over it or put collage pieces over it, add paper on top, more photocopies, whatever. And here I am with a ballpoint, just making a couple areas a little bit darker with some lines. But you can draw, you can shade, you can paint. Anything you can think of you can do with mixed media. It's really fun, it's really freeing. It's not really any rules. It's just you wanna layer things and then seal them down with like glue or a medium and then keep layering. So I'm going in and making some marks and now I'm actually doing a bunch of writing and it kind of looks like graffiti to me where I put a bunch of writing on top of writing over and over and over again. I write different things. So I'm writing words having to do with the ocean, you know, water, sea, and it makes kind of like a texture. You can see right there in the light. It, it looks like scribbles. And then here's the texture you can see of the oil pastel on the dried uh, wrinkles from the tissue paper. And I can always go back in and add some more details, like with Sharpie markers, crayons, colored pencils, watercolor pencils. And I can layer different types of paint too, as long as I seal everything.